everyone, and welcome to Moms Get Real, where real moms confess to being less than perfect. In fact, we get real with the goal of cracking that perfect mommy facade. You know, it's no secret that moms can be brutally honest to each other online, but what happens when moms get downright hurtful? That's today's topic, when mean girls turn into mean moms. What is up with this? But I want to bring in my panel for today to discuss, I think, a pet peeve of mine. Joining us from Los Angeles is Rami Lasalle. She's the founder of True Mom Confessions. Com. And here in New York is psychiatrist Dr. Janet Taylor, along just to round out the program with Beth Feldman, founder of RollMommy.com. Welcome, ladies. So, Rami, let me start with you. It's a pet peeve of mine. What have you seen, given um, the fact that you work online a lot, with mean moms? Right. Well, I, I think what I really see specifically is how anonymity can bring out the best we know and the worst. I mean, we have over a million confessions, and I'd say we don't publish about 20% because they're so... I mean, women just get downright dirty, and I love how you took the mean girls turning into mean moms because it just—it's almost like a continuation of high school. It you is know, so they're vicious, right? So, uh, yeah, I just find it, it vicious. Twenty percent—that's a lot. What is it? Yeah. What? What's the nature of the viciousness, though? Is it just judging somebody else, putting down somebody yeah. else? What is it? I think it's it's a lot of judgment. I think it comes from, you know, if we see somebody else doing something differently, maybe about, you know, the hot button topics, breastfeeding, co-sleeping, spanking, that's always a good one. We're thinking if someone's doing it differently, maybe we're doing it wrong. So I do think it comes from that place of insecurity. I mean, I do think that's that's what spawns all the judgment, but it's it's judgment. Dr. Taylor, what is it? Why is it, is it that moms just have a hard time agreeing to disagree? It's not just that I do it my way, but my way is better. Well, moms are women too. I mean, we're not perfect. And I think as a, if you are a mean girl, then definitely you can be a mean mom. The anonymity definitely is a factor, but also the fact it's out of context. Women and moms have yeah. a lot of pressure today, so they go online and usually it's the extreme comments, either extremely mean or extremely sympathetic, and just verbalize, you know, through on, with their keypad, just horrible things. And I think it's because they feel like they can get away with it. And they also do have a lot of insecurity and blame about how they are mothering and they project that onto whatever poor woman has written in about how what's been going on with her. Beth Feldman, you're a mommy blogger. Have you been beat up on? I, my understanding is you have. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't go there in terms of, of talking about very, very personal issues, but certainly I think conversations that you would have with people in person dealing with education, with religion, with politics, with parenting, you're gonna you're opening yourself up to get beat up and I've had, had that happen, especially when I talked about my daughter not getting into a, a, a special program at her school and all of a sudden I got comments that I'm a helicopter parent and I'm evil and you have to sort of just take it with a grain of salt or, or ignore it because if you, if you let it eat, eat away at you, you, you know, it, it's just going to make you miserable. And it, it seems like it's not even just whatever the subject, it's just a tone and, it, and the, the pattern seems to be there are just some moms who like to be negative and, and just want to make you as miserable as they are. There's a pretty high profile case in New Jersey and we all are familiar with the issue of sexting but there was a teenage girl who had sexted um, because her boyfriend requested a nude photo and so she sent it it went all over the place and to raise awareness she went on MTV she went on the view to talk about it and and yet when they went online she and her mom it almost backfired that there was a lot of harshing on the mom like how could you raise a daughter who could be that for lack of a better word slutty I mean they were downright crazy Cruel. Dr. Taylor, what is going on? You know, I think moms have a lot of pressure outside of just being a mother and the fact is, you know, in, at the, at the at middle of the night, you've had a long day and if your choice is to go on and write negative things, you're going to do it. And I think when you write online as a blogger or you're writing comments, you kind of have to expect it. But there are a certain percentage of people, maybe it's 20%, maybe lower, who just are just flat out negative, nasty moms. And just because you're a mother doesn't mean you're an angel and we're seeing that. And do you find there's this mob mentality, especially online? Well, absolutely. It's just like when you're in high school or middle school, all you need is that one dominant force and then you get a lot of followers. And typically one negative comment, there's another and another and another. And part of that is that as a follower, that aim to please. But the other is we take our personalities offline, online, and unfortunately, we, it just seems like we're seeing more and more of that. It sounds like mom's bullying, though. Well, it, it is. I mean, 
any any type of whether it's a force that's physical or using words or, or, or verbal thoughts that is bullying if your intent is to make someone hurt. Rami, I know you have some pretty stark examples um, from your website. Do you want to share some? There's a woman who said, I know I shouldn't care if someone chooses to breastfeed or formula feed. If someone chooses to circumcise or not, yet I still feel interested enough to give my opinion. I have no idea where the urge comes from, but it still happens. You know, so Janet, I might, I'd love to ask your thought on that. What, what, what's, what's spurring us to have this sort of in the middle participation, but you know, sort of staying on the outside as well. Well, it, it seems that, I mean, again, it's extreme. You can be extremely negative or extremely supportive. And the middle, in my sense is that the middle line moms kind of read and, and contribute, but are kind of nodding silently in agreement at home. But to your point, there are bloggers who are supportive and share their experiences in a positive way. But it just seems like the rotten apple spoils a bunch. And that seems that negativity is what we remember and is, is kind of the most provocative. And in some cases, it's so extreme it's almost funny but when it really hurts moms then you have to say come on guys that you know it's time to back right off. and I think you have to know yourself I know for myself I ask people to screen the message boards for me because I, I just can't bear that kind of criticism and there is something very harsh about the tone that goes online Rami I know that there was a uh, a comment made on the blog about housework, for example. Right. There was a, a specific example on True Confessions. I'm a work, I'm a work full-time single mom, and I always keep up with my housework. My house is always clean. How a stay-at-home mom can have a messy, dirty house is beyond me. What's she doing all day? You know. So here's this woman saying, "How could you have dirty dishes in your sink? You have nothing to do all day," which we know isn't true. Uh, that's like Very ouch. What, what's the point? Of, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so interesting, Dr. Taylor. Give us some yeah. context here. I mean, again, whether it's breastfeeding or circumcision or any of these hot button issues why is it that we can't agree to disagree we have to pick on the other person's choices well online it's a lot easier to pick if you were talking to someone you're a stay-at-home mom and they work full-time you're not going to make that comment to their face so it's out of context it's easy to do but I think we really it's an opportunity to really remember that we're all moms we all have different values we have different abilities and and those same rules that apply offline in terms of do it unto others as you'd have them do unto you or maybe not taking things so personally we need to care carry online as well because it, it really is a fine line but at the end of the day the point is not to bring down other moms it's really to support each other.